welcome back to my channel so this is my sunday reset routine the things i like to do to reset myself well for the upcoming week when i wake up in the morning i get some clear sunshine into the room i love natural light and then i just chill on my sofa and i take a few moments to myself just to think and to relax this is so important for my well-being i love when i get to have these few moments to myself and it's usually when hubby and baby are still asleep and even if it means i have to wake up a little bit earlier i do go ahead and do so after that i want to check to make sure that i have all of my plans for the following week in place so that i don't miss anything and so i just double check that on my diary and then after that guys i am straight on to laundry yes i do laundry but sundays are definitely the days that i want to make sure all the laundries that are done are done because you may or may not know i am still working although my baby is only five months old and so it's important to me to make sure that during the week i have everything um, in place so i'm not running around trying to do too much in terms of keeping up with them um, household duties so yeah my baby's clothes are nicely cleaned and folded them up and put them back in her drawer i try not to overdo it when it comes to her clothing items because i just buy what we need because as you guys know babies grow out of their clothing real quick okay the next thing now is to get the living room in order the night before i spent most of the time editing um, videos for my other channel and so yeah the place was in a little bit of a mess so I fold up everything the blankets um, the wrapper that I use to carry my baby on my back as we do in Africa <laughs> um, I just get everything into place and then I said to myself you know what I haven't hoovered underneath the sofa for quite a bit so you'll see me here fixing the sofa and I did all of that and then I was like um, actually I need to um, vacuum clean underneath the sofa so I went and got my vacuum cleaner out um, and started to work on it so yeah it's very important that if you forget you make sure you do this as often as you can um, it's really good for cleanliness it's good because it gets the dust out and for some reason I just don't know how all of the mess ends up underneath the sofa it's just amazing how things just gather up um, underneath the sofa and I found a couple of things that I was looking for um, before underneath there as well so yeah I just do my best to give that a good clean up and then I put all the cushions back into place and yeah the home is tidied okay the next thing is to just to do a few pickups here and there with whatever random thing is hanging around um baby items books toys little things like that um so i did the pickup and then i tried to put the clothing back where they should be um most of the time the sofa gathers up like our abeyas and a few bits for my from my husband um because we tend to pray in the living room together as a family and things just seem to gather up so i put the prayer mats back into place and then i get on to my dining table which is always some kind of a mess um the night before i was um doing a more detailed planning for my youtube content so i had to put everything back where it's supposed to be so we have a fresh table to start our new week um yeah so that's just what i'm doing putting everything away doing picking up of the bits and pieces that i need to um and then just having the place nice and clean Next, I'm going to use the Method antibacterial um, spray and just spray up the table and give it a good wipe. I do try to focus on areas I don't usually focus on during the week. That is making sure that my um, placemats are cleaned and inside of the chairs, if there's any stains or food stains on there, I make sure I get that done as well. Now guys, I usually try to go to the grocery stores on Saturdays so that Sundays I can just be at home. And so the day before I picked up these lovely flowers from Tesco um, and they just they just scream spring to me. Such lovely colours in this vase. Um, I think I got that vase from Amazon. Yes. And so I add some water in my vase. I add a little bit of sugar just to preserve the flowers for a little bit longer. That's a neat trick that you might want to try if you love having flowers in your home. And I display my flowers on our dining table and it's such a lovely sight for when we are having 
dinner, breakfast, lunch, just whenever we're eating. Okay, next we're in the bedroom and as per usual, I need to change the bed sheets. So I get on to doing that. It's such a lovely feeling to always have fresh clean sheets on the bed. Um, so yeah, that's what I get on with doing. All right, next it is time to do our laundry. So I've gathered up our mixed colored items. Some really I could just wash as whites, but we didn't have enough of the whites only. So I just put it in the um, mix setting. Filled up um, the soap container section and then yeah, I'm ready to give my items a good wash. So the next thing on my plan is to pre-prep my baby's food. She started eating solids if you like, but what I pretty much do is puree everything. And this week she's going to be having some pears. So what I do is I boil the pears just so that it's you know, easier on her digestion and easier to puree as well. I boil it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I take it out and let it cool and then I remove the skin off of the pears and I chop it into smaller sections and then I blend it up and she has been loving this the week before she had avocados and I mixed up the avocados with some breast milk just to make it a little bit lighter I pureed that for her um and yeah <laughs> it was a little bit of a surprise I think number one the texture number two it's not as sweet um, and um, I was reading a study that stated that babies have a natural preference for foods that are sweeter and it makes sense because breast milk is slightly sweet so um, yeah if you want to have your child be used to eating much more healthier foods that isn't so sweet then that is something you have to incorporate in quite early um, my baby is five months old now so I'm trying to you know try different things that she might enjoy and she definitely enjoys pears which explains why I was obsessed with pears when I was pregnant I was absolutely obsessed with pears I had to have at least a couple of pears each day but anyways guys these containers I got from Amazon I'm so impressed by the quality of these they come in a pack of six um, and so I'm going to be storing her um, pureed pears in those I'm keeping them in the freezer and then each day I take out one I'm slowly beginning to incorporate um, her eating solids so she'll only have one of these each day and the rest of the time she'll be having her usual breast milk um, so yeah, I have I already have a couple in the fridge, so I only made four on this occasion to add, and then it will be enough for her to have for the next uh, seven days until next Sunday when I choose something else um, that is appropriate for under six months to have. Okay, next we need to food prep. This is something I always have to do every single Sunday, and today I'm going to be preparing um, stew. We call it stew in Nigeria, but it's actually just a tomato sauce that I always try to have in the fridge so that we can have it with boiled rice. We can have this with spaghetti, just whatever we prefer. So I saute some onions with some oil and I add some concentrated tomato paste. It's very important to have this part and I let this kind of cook for about or fry for about 15 minutes and then I add in my blended tomato um, mixture and then I get this nice thick mixture this will take a little bit of time before it cooks and in order to get rid of the strong acidity because there's so much tomato here I add a little bit of baking soda and it helps to neutralize the acidity and also enhance the taste a little bit so yeah I will season this with my usual chicken seasoning and allow this to cook for about about you know almost an hour on medium to low heat and then i end up with a really delicious tomato paste that we can use for a lot of things okay next we're going to be making a goosey soup 
if you know you know this is a nigerian soup that i like to have with things like fufu eba it's a traditional uh, traditional meal so with this i have my egusi i have my um shrimps that i'm going to be using using as seasoning um you're going to need some tomatoes and onions and peppers as well and then i'm going to be using some um maggi cubes to taste and then i'm going to just simply blend my ingredients together Okay, so in my pot goes oil so i add in my blended paste and i just let this fry on its own on medium to low heat and i avoid mixing it the reason why i avoid mixing it is so that it clumps together quite nicely because a goosey is kind of meant to have this clumpy texture and if you keep mixing it vigorously on the early in the early stages you won't get that clump so now we're back on our soup and i've just added some um red palm oil and in contrary to popular beliefs red palm oil is actually a very healthy oil okay it's not the unhealthy um, other style of palm oil and it is essential in west african cooking if you want to have that authentic egusi taste you must add a little bit of red palm oil and i'm going to cover this up again to cook right whilst all of that is being done i am getting the dishes dishes washed okay i'm trying to be as productive as i can and i do not want to waste any time i like to clean as i go so that when i am done in the kitchen i am done um, so it just helps me to make use of the time in between cooking um, different dishes so yeah this is literally what i do on a sunday you will just see me cooking multiple things at the same time trying to clean in between um, and then when i'm done i can just sit and chill All right, I did not share, but I did fry some fish and I added that into my egusi soup. As much fish as possible is great because I love fish in my egusi soup. Um, and then I'm going to um, cut up some spinach and add that in as well. Didn't have enough spinach because I used it earlier in the week, um, but usually I would add in as much spinach as possible. I really need the iron, so I don't play with adding spinach into my foods. And then my soups are pretty much ready okay next my bathroom i take different areas of the home to clean as i go on throughout the month um, and so sundays are usually a days where i pick something in the house to clean that just makes life a little bit easier for me so my deep cleaning days aren't as crazy so today i've picked the bathroom especially this glass door and i'm really focusing on it i'm using the sieve um, cream cleanser on my sponge to clean this up and i also wash this container which is um, we use that for making wudu which if you don't know because <laughs> you're not muslim um, when we pray we wash ourselves first before we pray so i always use that container so i make sure to get that clean and i run some water down to clean everything up everything goes down the drain my bathtub is clean the mirrors are clean and everything is clean okay finally i also made some jollof which i will be sharing in a different video otherwise we'll be here all day guys um, so definitely do not worry i'll share the recipes to this in a video soon um but yeah i make some nice jollof for us to eat as you guys can see we have a lot of it so that we have enough to get us through the next four to five if not six days between my husband and i and those are the things that I love to do to reset my week and get me on track to begin the following week. If you have enjoyed this video, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone whom you feel would benefit from today's content. And thank you so much for your support on this new channel, guys. Bye.